fallout tonight over Carl Palladino's comments about the president and first lady. Thousands of people have signed petitions on change.org calling for the immediate removal of Palladino from the Buffalo School Board. Tonight, some members of the Buffalo Common Council are weighing in. News 4's Dave Graber has been following this and has the very latest. Melina, the Buffalo School Board has accepted the offer to hold its next meeting in the much larger Common Council Chambers at City Hall. But the question remains, will that meeting take place on its previously scheduled evening of January 18th? I'm told the board is now considering whether to hold a special session much earlier to tackle the comments made last week by Carl Palladino. Much has been said online in the wake of Carl Palladino's comments about the president and first lady. But when it comes time for residents to air their grievances or their support of the local developer, the crammed quarters of the Board of Education room won't likely be enough to support expected attendance. That's the belief of Common Council President Darius Pridgen, who Monday evening offered council chambers as a more fitting location for the school board's next meeting. When we talk about the public discourse and uh, the information that has come forward, the statements that have been made, I think it's important for all people to be heard, whether they agree or disagree with them. Paladino's comments appeared in Thursday's edition of Art Voice and set off a firestorm of response that's reached international levels. Paladino's own son distanced himself from his father and the company that he founded, Ellicott Development, saying they don't support the comments of their chairman. William Palladino also said his father hasn't had day-to-day -day control of the company in years. Carl Palladino, meanwhile, responded with a lengthy statement late last week that he was in no way referring to race and that his comments were made in jest. Pridgen said he believes such comments from a public official set the city back. We still live in the United States of America. However, um, I do think that as leaders and as elected leaders, we have to be responsible for what we put out in the public domain. But when you put something out in public, then it gives the public the right to respond to what you say in public. And I think it hurts um, the whole race relation issue and situation in our city. We've come too far to go backwards now. The Buffalo Parent Teacher Organization is also calling for Paladino's ouster and hosting a rally this week to demand the state education department take action against Paladino. The rally is scheduled for 1030 Thursday morning at Niagara Square. Meanwhile, the Board of Education is expected to host a work session on January 11th. That's ahead of their regular meeting on January 18th. It's not yet known if a special meeting would be held before January 11th or after. Live in the newsroom, Dave Graber, News 4 at 10.